settling for silver. He'll be hoping for a less dramatic final here as he looks for gold. Uh, Sefer Shayev takes on Cilic of Turkey for 55 kilogram Greco Roman gold. No fingers red. Head up, blue. Fingers, head up, clear instructions from our referee. Cilic, former junior world champion. Finished 19th though in the world championships. And Nur Sultan does well to swat away the advances of Sefer Shayev. The elder statesman of the final, five years older than his Russian opponent at 27 years of age. 22 year old Russian though making big splashes in Greco Roman's lightest division. In the past couple of months, he's beaten two grapplers inside the top four in the world. He beat Vitaly Kabalov. Patrick in the Russian Cup in Ufa, October 2020. Kabaloev himself barely beat Cilic in round 16 en route to European gold in 2019. And now the Russian with the point advantage for passivity against Cilic. Turk trying to repel the Russian from adding to his points tally. Just trying to give the lock and well he got the suplex but Kilic initially escaping like a Venus by trap. The Russian clamping down again. Kilic just takes a quick look and will be absolutely ecstatic. The Russian only able to take that one passivity point, not add to that on the parterre. So really encouraging for Kilic. Said, Sefer Shayev beating Luev, his compatriot, and in the quarterfinals here in Belgrade. Defeating now bronze medalist, as we just saw, Danis Azizli, world number three. Certainly proving to be no easy task against Sharif Kilic of Turkey. Russian looking like he's dealing with a pot of jam, he's struggling to pop open. And it's not for moving. And, uh, despite being a point down, it's a hugely encouraging first round for the Turk if he can hold on. Don't go back, Red. Warning for Kilic not to back off. That could have provided a penalty point, but in the end, it's just a point against the Turk for passivity. But it's his defensive display that leaves. The promising Russian, frustrated not to have added to his tally. Second round underway. Shayev with a slender lead over Kilic. Turk will look to try to turn this around. Shayev is so impressive on day one as he tries to drive Turk towards the edge. I mentioned beating wall number three as his knee. Technical superiority over Balai Dordakov in the semi. Finishing a 9-0 win with a four-point throw. He 
He's trying to pick up some points here. Kilic, a slippery customer, he can't pin him, but he does manage to take him out of the ring. Could have gone either way. Kilic is pointing down to the map, but it's two for the Russians. They make the ring and round the back. I think there will be a challenge. Kilic, I think, suggesting he was already out of the ring before Mr. Shaev managed to get round the back. Certainly been a lot calmer on day two than on day one. Some challenges, a little bit too much heat. Relative calm as Tillich speaks to his coach to just refocus whether he's one point, two points, I should say, or three down. Could have a big bearing on the final outcome. The hope to try and force passivity against the Russian as the challenge is won, though. And that could be a big help, evidently, down to just that one point advantage. Kilic proving exactly why there is that challenge facility. Shayev steamrolled his way to this final, but certainly has found an equal in this gold medal matchup. Kilic has to score. Well, defensively, he's certainly shown his true colours. Offensively, he's yet to really threaten the Russian who picks up another point. And the parterre, can he be clinical in a way he failed to do so in round one? And he's got the lock around the chest. But squim in the way, Kilic. Now the Russian has him up on the deck, and a suplex. The referee's hand does go up. And out of bounds. For confirmation. But it's suddenly looking like the golden route for Kilic has gone. Four points now in the deficit. Two points for passivity of the Turk for the Russian and suplex and cover, bringing him a four point advantage. Just a minute 10 remaining. Despite a brave fight from Kilic, certainly made Sefer Shayev to work for it. He's just missing that extra spark to try and make it gold instead of silver. Certainly no disgrace losing to the red hot. Shaev. Kalec. Oh, there's time, there's hope. But now the Russian trying to finish things off here. That should be that. Every time Kilic has been by the edge, so Russian hasn't been able to score too heavily. But the problem is, over the two rounds, points have added up, and it is 6 0. Another score for the Russian will finish this. And there is it. 16 seconds before the end, it's gold for Russia. Zafershayev finishing the contest. Brilliant score. Sefer Shayev, goal for Russia. Kilic of Turkey settling for silver. Brilliant from the under 23 world silver medalist. He beat two top wrestlers to make this final one. It's easily the third in the world. 